back again with another reaction. Listen. It's spooky season. So y'all already know what time I'm on. It's top seven ghost videos by Goose Pimple. We're going to hop into this. I hope it's scary. I'm due for a good jump scare. So, with no more being said, get your drinks, snacks, head to the couch, watch this with your boy. I ain't going to say nothing else. Let's go. Ghost walk you and your mates had planned. Japan is pretty well known for being chock a block with old, ghostly urban legends, and these guys were putting them to the test. They heard from residents of the village they visited that the local cemetery was haunted, specifically a nearby phone booth. Many reported unsettling sounds bursting out of the claustrophobic box at stupid o'clock, but none had been able to muster up the courage to check it out. In an attempt to uncover the mystery of this supposedly haunted area, these guys brought along some cameras to see what they could find. But they would have never expected the grisly end they were met with. <laughs> So, if I'd have passed out, yeah, I'd have passed out. Yep, I'd have passed. Move out. She's gone. What in the fresh hell is that? No wonder nobody went to have a look. If anyone did, they probably got eternally cursed to the Shadow Realm by this horrific ghostly bastard. Yo, the strangest thing about this video is the fact that the figure outside might not even be the same thing that grabbed the guy's feet. The locals- Yo, I thought that was the- I thought that was the design of his shoe. Yo, I didn't even know that was hands, bro. Yo! That is so crazy. Always said the whole area was haunted. So could this have been the work of multiple entities? Mm. Because the last thing you need in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night is some sort of spectral Yo, ambush. That is <laughs> Number six, drive by. While zooming down the motorway in the dead of night, this guy felt nothing but vibes as he let the cool, dark air envelop his entire body. But that all changed when he noticed something out the corner of his eye. It was fleeting, but he had to rub his eyes to double check, but he was sure there was something amiss about this late night drive. And his dash cam footage confirmed every twisted suspicion he had. Oh, that's crazy. If you missed it, don't worry. It's pretty hard to spot. So let's slow down and zoom in. A Can y'all imagine being on a highway by yourself at night and you running across some shit like this? And it's, I mean, if you didn't have a dash cam, it'd be hard as shit to explain. But in his case, he has the proof. But that shit is so terrifying. Bright white figure appears to have a death wish and tries to step in front of the car. Mm. It looks to be wearing some kind of skirt and has no legs. 
Was it waiting for this specific guy to come barreling towards it? Or was it doing this to every car that flew by? Could it be the phantom of merging lanes? A poltergeist told me you enjoy scary videos like this, but don't subscribe just yet. We'll earn your subscription by the end of this scary compilation. Number five, the white cloud. This guy decided to venture into a house rumoured to be one of the most haunted abandoned houses in his local area. There were mass sightings. So, my thing, right? Big ups to the people that go on these hunts by themselves. And then they go to these buildings and you know, these different places and they know the background and they study it. If that's not enough to keep you away, but they have the balls to still go and do their investigations. Big ups to them. I am not one of them. It will never happen. I can't be an investigator, an explorer. None of that. It's not happening. But big ups to them, man. Y'all stay safe out there with that. Just had to throw that out there. Writings from multiple nearby residents of what they claimed to be a white cloud lingering around the property. Oh, plug in. Rated drastic, my nephew. He be doing the exploring stuff, man, so check him out. Um, I have his, uh, his link in the description box below. You are ready. He had explored the house a while before, but conducted no real investigation. Although he left with the significant impression that there was a lost spirit there, something incomprehensible. So he hot-footed it back there with all the right equipment and set up shop, hoping to find some answers. But those answers were much more sinister than he could have ever thought. He said that the house felt like some kind of horror film, that there's something trapped Look in there like that he can't film. quite fathom. And with it being in such a state of abandoned decay, he knew he had to dig deep to try and make contact. Which is when he began getting some joy from the EMF reader. В этом доме со мной может выйти кто-то на контакт с миром мертвым. He finds out that the spirit he's been talking to took its last breath inside that very house in a tragic accident. It doesn't end there, however, because as he started quizzing the spirit on the details, he noticed that it was much more than just a disembodied voice coming through the EMF reader. Сколько вам было лет, когда это случилось? Oh 
Oh, shit. Вы можете bro. мне ответить? Вы еще здесь? The scariest thing about this video is the simplest thing of all. How easily a life can become seemingly abandoned. The EMF session didn't reveal much in the way of explicit detail, but the words of the supposed spirit and the state of the house tell a much more emotional horror. While family do visit this person's grave, they left the home immediately and it looks like nobody's come in to even try and clean the place up. Is it that easy to be forgotten? Was this YouTube video the first real interaction this spirit has had since its untimely death? We didn't see any spooky white clouds, but we did see the spookiest thing of all, the macabre reality of the distant future. Number four, Ghost Kitchen. While chilling out and chatting to the bartenders, these restaurant goers were sent home with full fear responses as well as full bellies, because there was some horrific hospitality offered at this eatery, and it wasn't the actions of any of the waiters. What the hell? Oh, that shit opened up, yo. That's crazy. Not exactly the dictionary definition of ghost restaurant, but it'll do. <laughs> All jokes aside though, how could that have even happened? Both of the patrons even went right up to it and touched it, so there couldn't have been anything attached to it. Those decorative lantern doors also tend to use latches, so for the door to swing open like that, the latch must have been physically lifted, which would have been near impossible with a string anyway. Some commenters seem to think it's a faked video by the restaurant company to attract more customers. But surely, if that were the plan, something much more extravagant would have happened, like bottles flying at heads yeah. or shadow bastards materialising out of nowhere. Not just a slowly opening lantern door. Number three, Phantom Frivolities. This guy learnt the hard way that the Chinese ghost festival really doesn't disappoint when it comes to quality scares, because it looks like the festivities latched onto him. The famous festival happens on the 15th day of the 7th lunar month, so mostly in August or September each year, and it commemorates the opening of the gates of both heaven and hell respectively. People come from far and wide in China to offer the spirits food and drink, chant scriptures and burn joss paper. Somehow the worshippers managed to dodge the real awful haunting scary stuff, and it all got lumped onto this guy who decided it was a great idea to investigate an abandoned house in the midst of this terror fest. And the footage he captured does not dis People always want to take the extra mile. And it's like, bro, you know you're not supposed to do this. And you was like, yo, I'm, I, yo, today is going to be the day because they having the, whatever is going on. I'm, I'm going to try to top. I'm going to top this. I'm like, nah. That wouldn't be me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop trying to up one, man. Like, now nah, he done put himself in a messed up situation. I'm pretty sure this is going to be crazy. It, it's it's going to be it's gonna be crazy, bro. You're disrespecting a culture. Like, um, what, what they have going on, you're disrespecting it. And we're going to see what happens. It's a point either. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Ma? See? That TV's super old, bro. And he by himself. <laughs> What's holding you, mom? What was that? I missed it. My bad. Oh. What's holding you, mom? 
Now this is creepy enough without I was about any to say context, like some hours in the window. Apparently this house was devoid of any power at all. So how did the TV freak out and how did the curtains close? What? Holy mom! And if the electricity is gone, there's no way it could have happened. Unless there was some kind of spark that brought the house to life for a few seconds, but yeah. that seems almost too good to be true, doesn't it? He sucks in a breath and grounds himself before moving through to the stairs trying to piece together whatever or whoever the hell was causing all these disturbances. But as you'd expect, he was left with more questions than answers. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> really? <laughs> Tony Ma! Yo, Loki, this shit like a movie. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, this look crazy. They're bloody footprints. Now, the bloody footprints are enough to make anybody want That shit got me. ...to run and grab their spare pants, but the big iron plate that was lobbed straight at him? He didn't even have time to think about that. This house seems sort of old and creaky. We can hear the guy tiptoeing through it. So we would probably have heard if there was someone else tasked with waiting upstairs and throwing something at the cameraman. Continuing with the theme of blood where blood shouldn't be, he heads upstairs after that Crash Bandicoot-esque <laughs> experience and finds something even more blood curdling. No pun intended. That's a big house, yo. Yeah. I was just told you my just leave, bro. Told you, my Yo, don't let's go. Oh! Yo, this gotta be a movie, bro. This gotta be like a little clip from a movie. It has to be. That's, if that shit's real, that's fucking crazy. Like, crazy, crazy. Like. It gotta be a movie. <laughs> he promptly turns on his heel and gets the hell out of there, and we're sure nobody can blame him. After spending some time getting a hold of himself, he decided he wasn't going to go down that easily, so he armed himself with a talisman and stormed back into the house to confront whatever it was that had slithered out of the ghost festival and into the real world, only to realise that he was no match for whatever it was that was waiting for him. So. You seen blood coming down the door. First of all, the bloody footprints. Then you see the doors have blood coming down them. And you say to yourself, let me go outside, catch my mind. I'm a man up and I'm going back in here to see what's good. Ain't nothing good in there. Why are you going back in? <sighs> Big ups to him. <laughs> he felt himself be called to the bathroom and he approached. 
each step feeling as though it cemented him into the ground. His skin <sighs> so goose pimpled that it hurt to the touch. Mm -hmm. And when he opened the door, it was worse than he could have ever imagined. I got a feeling this son crazy about to pop out, bro. Hmm, why his voice sound like that? Turn around. It's a 50 50 uh, it, that this shit. So, I just, I never seen nothing like this. <clears throat> like, on film or of anything. Um, the thing is, like, I've seen this type of shit in movies. Let me correct it. Um, if it really was a person in there, I mean, now, he doesn't pan all the way to the right of him like somebody could have been hiding like behind that little wall where the the sinks are and it's like a, a little jump between that and the tub but there's no drippage of that blood splat I mean the blood the bloody footprint so if something was in the tub or a person it would have got out you would have seen that like a trail you just see the foot the feet print the footprint. <laughs> um, and it's too clean for it to say if it's it's a person. Like, it's not real. I think this is actual some real shit. Like, <laughs> this is scary. I'm going to go back. Look. Like, it would have been running down the tub. But he, he's not... <laughs> He's not panning to the right, so it's that 50-50. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the 50% that they, they could possibly be fake. But it's strong. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, man. Now get out that door, bro. What the hell you want? So that's enough for him to leave now. Sure, 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 sure. At least we know one thing. Never go ghost hunting during the festival. You might oh, end up here. Your, respect, <laughs> Number two, two-face. 
This woman thought that living next to a church would offer her all the light and protection she needed from the other side. But there's nothing stronger than pure, unadulterated darkness. Check out the weird glitch that takes a hold of her phone when she stands near the church. Y'all, I am in my yard. Watch my face. This is not an app doing this. This is my yard. The church is behind me. Watch my face. What? Church, you can see straight through me. I kid you not. Look at First of all, she got guts. And, and what I mean is that if that shit is so spooky that her actual face is changing right before her, her very own eyes. And she's still, she's still standing there just to, to capture it, to show people. And I get it. It's, it's like, I, I don't want to go crazy because no one probably won't believe me. So I have to document this. I get that. But this shit is so creepy. It's, it's, it's scary. That shit is like different. Yes. Look, Whoa. instantaneous. There was definitely more than one face shown in that video. And we don't like the look of them. Could it be the spirits from the church graveyard desperately Bro. crying out for someone to see them? Or has something nasty broken through and decided to show this woman exactly mm. what it's capable of? Yeah, That's she scary. could be lying, and it could be an app or some kind of editing feature, but surely that fruit would be so low-hanging that nobody would even take it, yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Number one, say overworked. Excuse me. You've almost definitely had one of those days at work where everything is stressing you out, the workload is up to your eyeballs, and you didn't get enough sleep to tackle either of those tasks. That's what happened to this office worker. So they decided to take advantage of the enclosed nature of their office cubicle to rest their eyes for a few hours. But someone, or something, had other ideas. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just think this one fake. I see the other one before with the little the, sh the shit running down the door. I give that a 50-50. This one fake. <clears throat> 100%. There's no way that shit just had her arm dangling her phone moved from one side under her it was dangling her arm like just crazy <clears throat> and she didn't move it pushed her halfway off the chair still didn't move knocks her on the floor now she gets up very slow no you don't no one sleeps that hard i'm so sorry i'm, I'm just keeping it on it to be tossed around period Only the most evil kind of spirit would push a work phone right under a sleeping person's nose. The hard fallout of the chair means that this video is either real, a prank done by other workers, or this person is really committed to the bit. Because you wouldn't throw yourself onto the floor that hard unless there was a reason, right? Could it be the spirit of some busybody manager? She, she knew what she was doing. Or is the vibration setting way too high on that phone and it <clears> somehow <throat> made its way right under this person's nose? Whatever it was, it's not the most ideal wake-up call. Now she fell. She fell on her hip first. Like she know what she she know what to do. She know how to fall. Stunt dummy. You know what I mean? But listen, it was a good video overall. It was good. Some good shit, beginning to end. Um, like I keep saying, the spooky season. This is what you're getting on this channel. For, for like literally until November, 
Like, and I'm still going to have some of these juggling in, but I'm going to do some other stuff. But as of now, and then the whole October, it's what you get. It's what you get. So, uh, until next time. Oh, do me a favor. If you like this video, smash the, the thumb. Thumbs up, please. Subscribe. Bell notification. Appreciate it. Love, peace, and good vibes as always. Until next time, let's go.